be pleading to going at the police station. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You should be pleading to go in. Not even one year six months in Monday month. Simple straight things you. Uh -huh. No, you want us to be pleading for you. What? professionalism. professionalism. What kind of professionalism is that? Uh, good afternoon once again. We are here at um, Chilenge police uh, station where Patriotic Front Secretary General Honorable Rafael Nakachinda has been detained. Various leaders have been trooping in. Uh, we have uh, the Vice President of the Party Honorable Given Luwinda who is here and other leaders and we have Professor Nkanduluo that has also just joined us. Honorable Nakachinda is detained for charges of uh, seditious practices over his comments toxins in Mirimil that was in in the that was being sold to members of the public. Honorable uh, given Luwinda we will quickly give his remarks. Uh, we saw this coming. It doesn't come to us as a surprise at all. What it actually does is to just show us that uh, when people are about to leave, they show arrogance. And the arrogance that we're seeing in the UPND is one that is symptomatic of people who have lost direction totally. Even after they've been warned by the expert committee of the Human Rights, UN National Human, United Nations Human Rights Committee, that uh, they are bringing down Zambia's reputation in so far as the observance of human rights is concerned, they still go ahead and do the direct opposite of what the world is expecting of them. However, I want to say well done to Zambia police. They have done a very good thing to arrest Emmanuel Mwamba and to arrest Rafael Nakachinda. They have done a good thing because now they are giving them a rightful platform for them to go and explain to the world what they meant when they said that the provision of poisoned food to the Zambian people is equivalent to terrorism, is equivalent to actually tyrannical governance. There is no country in the world that can stand by and watch its citizens being fed on toxic food materials. In ordinary countries, the ministers responsible for food would have resigned by now. But in Zambia, instead of the minister being held responsible, it is the complainants who are being held accountable. Now they will go and account for their words. And indeed, they will go and show the whole world what they meant with the words that they uttered, the words that are today are having them incarcerated on the charges of seditious practices. This is a very welcome uh, move by the police and we're very happy. I want to just encourage our Secretary General, I want to encourage our Chairman for information and I want to appeal to all our lawyers. And here is an opportunity also for even those who have never come with us, all those lawyers who have never come with us, here is a matter of public interest. This matter is not about the patriotic front. This matter is about the citizens of Zambia. I therefore call upon all lawyers in Zambia to come up and stand with Emmanuel Mwamba, to stand with Rafael Nakachinda as they defend the food sovereignty of this country. What Rafael and what Emmanuel have been talking about is to maintain the food integrity of Zambia. They have been questioning the poisonous food that has been put on the Zambian market. Food that has the capacity of killing lives. This is what they have been complaining about. So all of us, let us stand up and defend ourselves. This is not about Emmanuel Mwamba's food. It's not him alone who is consuming this food. It's not 
Rafaona Kachinda and his children alone are consuming this toxic food. It's all of us Zambians. So everybody rise and be heard when we demand that our food integrity must be protected by the people who are governing us. It is their duty. The number one job of any government is to protect the health and integrity of its people. That's the number one job. And if any government fails to assure the people that they are consuming food which is free of toxins, then that government is not worth governing the people. Thank you very much. Um, oh, but in Pelawan and Kosha. Yeah, but uh, it's combining the matter. I speak for the party and the ISG. We held the press conference together. Uh, we will give you an update. We are here. Honorable Bonakashin has not been given police bond yet. He was charged and arrested at Woodlands Police Station. We hope that the Zambia police will quickly give him police bond. Thank you very much. Guys, <laughs> today I first tomorrow morning at the from to we pleading to go in at the police station. You can do whatever what, you, what you want. You can do whatever you want. You should be pleading to go in. Not even one year, six months, in many months. Simple, straightforward things. No, you want us to be pleading for you, my What? Why? 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 Remember to create an opportunity for yourself not to miss anything by subscribing and hitting the notification bell.